Let me on the lights. Thank you, Lord. Please share if you are here. I want to pass quick information. Cook information, information, information. Please, can you share for me? God bless me and you. But you know, I, if I want to speak, I, I always pray before speaking. Please share. This is an important information. And it got to do with my, myself, okay? Okay, it got to do with my life. So, I also, I need to give the information. I need to... Hello, please. I want to. I want you to share. Tabati daruko ebi everybody ma fo wobuni. Iya mo ya wo ya wo ya wo mo. Why you? Why you know when somebody call attention of ebi? Everybody. Shaking, afraid. You got to be, be holy so that do things that is legit. I mean, legitimate. Okay, so you won't have cause to be afraid of anything. You know, share. Hi, Bola. I have to call you at uh, 11 o'clock because I'm just training, okay? Okay. I'll call you back. Okay. 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 Heavenly Father, eternal rock of ages, I thank you. I worship you all because of this moment. I appreciate you for this day, for what I'm about to say. Receive my praise and thanks in Jesus' name. I cover myself, Lord of Jesus. I cover my daughter, Lord of Jesus. My children, all my people, all over the world, with Lord of Jesus. No weapon fashion against us shall prosper. All of without control, any man or woman that is planning evil against me, against my daughter, against my children, against my people, against my platform. Such people that put all of them to shame, all or expose all our, our enemies. Those who can themselves, who present themselves as a good person, that they actually go, I mean, evil to our life. Oh Lord, that they are enemy to our spirit, they are enemy to our life, to our progress, our goodness. Such people, Father, raise your standard against them in the mighty name of Jesus. We trust in you, we hope in you. Father, let your will be done in our life. Your name only shall be purified forever. In Jesus' name, I want to speak right now. Direct my spirit, soul, and body. Direct my tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever I decree, it shall be established in heaven in Jesus. Any man or woman who you say, below it, say, me. 
lati ma gbogun ti mi mo gbadura fun gbogun yin pataka wonu wa lati da ma ti shoro awon ta be lowo lati wonu lati gbogun ti omo mi ari buko la mo gbadura fun yen da be te wonu wa lati da ma ti shoro be lo ma ri ko ni pada gbogbo agbode gba buko lori oro mi o lo shut all of them to pieces in the mighty name of jesus all our enemies shall be put to shame but lord your name shall be glorified forever in our life thank you for that because you answer prayer i pray lord continuously for the spirit of dignity and holiness father lord let the spirit possess me possess our nation possess my children in the mighty name of jesus we shall be an ambassador for christ we shall be an ambassador for good we shall be a peculiar nation in the mighty name of jesus the spirit of holiness and dignity shall continue to radiate in our life in jesus a good example we shall be forever together with my children with my people in jesus name in jesus wonderful name i pray amen you are welcome to this platform either we are many or not i'm going to pray i'm going to um i'm going to say whatever i have to say my attention i call attention that's why i say america government nigeria government canada government and fbi as well even when the canadian police i noticed something and um whatever a, a parent whatever parent practice in the front of their children their children copy it yeah um i try to study little but what i do most if i if i finish doing my work i pray and i study also things of god things that we have the society that's my bible that's what i do after my working you know how you i live to you know then um my daughter stay with me so whatever i do that's what she will do okay so i'm the first teacher before the teacher will teach her in the school but my attention is this i call attention of this government canada nigeria nigeria government canada government i reside in canada and i've been in america before and uh, before coming to canada so um I always recognize them, and uh, anytime I have uh, the grace to visit, I'll visit America. It's a wonderful country to me. It's in my stepping stone. So, God bless America. God bless Canada. God bless my country, Nigeria, where I was born originally. And may Almighty God repair all our nation and let peace reign all over. Now, uh, the reason why this person I call first. Is the lady that she already agreed that they are going to refund money back to my daughter. But something strange to me about that. You know, because she live in this house. She live in this, we live together in this building. So I don't know actually the floor she lives. But my floor, since I came to this house now four years. I'm going to be four years by few months, maybe, you know, I'll be four years in this house. Apart from my reception, where we normally check our email before I got, uh, you know, apart from our reception, where we normally pass through, if I'm going out to take a bus, or the garage, anytime I park a car, and my floor, I've never, apart, I mean, and the gym, the gym also is in the floor which is the reception floor and uh, the garage where I park when, when anytime we have a car and apart from that our roofing top that is where we have our our swimming pool so I visited that swimming pool I think twice I visited a uh, gym many times the gym is on the floor that is the reception floor I'm saying this for a reason and my floor, which I'm not going to disclose it that on this media, I have my floor. Apart from those floor, I've never been to another floor. The day when I nearly came to this Canada, I mean to this building, the uh, the my landlord told me that if I have any challenges, if I have any problem, like the washing machine, because when we nearly came, the washing machine was not working, a lot of things like that. Is that we have some caretaker living in some floor? I don't remember the floor they gave, but it's about three to four higher than mine. So he said we can go. He get, mentioned that he sent it. I don't check it, but later he contacted them themselves. They came to my. I've never. 
just to cut the story short, is that I've never been to other floor apart from my floor. I've never visited any other floor in this building since I've been in this building. I've never visited other floor apart from my floor. When I go to reception, if I have a car to check whatever I want to, maybe like checking my email and that, or go to reception, I mean go to gym. Apart from gym, maybe I go to the garage where I park one time and we have a car to park where we park the car. So I don't prognose to other floor. I don't prognose to people's house, to people's things. So I mind my business. This has been my business. This has been my life. If I don't have anything to do outside, instead of me going around, I stay indoor because I'll be, I'm used to that. A lot of people believe when you stay indoor, maybe you are depressed. I'm not. I love my vicinity. I love my around. I love my, my, my house. And that's why I make my surrounding, my home, my whatever I my flat's conducive for myself. So there's nothing, if I'm not, if I don't need something outside to go and book notes. So this is, I've been my life, even from home. And when people, I believe that since I came to Canada, I've been under surveillance, a lot of uh, investigations secretly. And when people want to talk about me, I know the Nigeria, I mean, the Canada police also and the government, those people that always go investigate people secretly. They will know that I always work alone. If I don't work with my daughter, if I don't go out with my daughter, I go alone. And most of the time, that's why I do many things with my daughter because, you know, we always work together. So I have no friend, I have no other person. Since I came to this place, apart from people working to come and do one thing or the other, I'm my flask, no visitor also. No visitor. So, whatever I do, my daughter, so the reason why I'm giving this explanation before I start the story, the story is going to be short. The lady living in my house who introduced my daughter, I mean, who came to me, we met at the reception one day, and she approached me that she always loved the way I smile. When I see people, I smile, even when things around me is not palatable, and it's not even getting me smile. But when I see people, I smile at them. When I greet people, I open my teeth and to welcome everybody. And she approached me that day. She said to me, she loved the way I always smile. I see if there's no problem. I said, okay, no problem. Thank you. And later she introduced, she introduced something to me. Let me show you. Excuse me. This involved my daughter. That is why this involved my daughter, and that's why this involved my daughter, and that is why. So paranoid. Okay, no problem. Speak better. I mean, speak whatever, whatever you like. You can speak out. No, no problem. So she introduced this to me that first day. The day she approached me. But before then, I noticed her, she's my neighbor, where I park, I do park. My parking, she's next to my, my parking, you know. We are neighbor in parking space, in the garage. So she said hello to me, I said hello to her. But uh, she introduced this to me, and she said to me, you, when you are using this, it can help you a lot. Well, you know, like, you know, you can also share the way this and that and that. She asked me anything, and I tried to patronize her. And for me to also help her more then, I said to her that I'm always blog, which I believe she also know then. I say I'm on the blog. I do, like, on social media, I give information, like, I can also help her. After patronizing her, that day, I patronized her. And after some time, I said, okay, on Sunday, she said she will be chance on Sunday. No, no, no. I said, I'll be going to work. But on Sunday, is Saturday. I'm not going to work. I'm going to be on the live chat. Then, I will bring, I will, she can come with the, some products. Then I will do Alva, free alverts for her. Which I did. She's the one that I call now, but she said she's on the gym. She could not pick her for now. She's training. So, I brought her to the system. To my Facebook, I showed her that this is my ten. I mean, this is my neighbor. She said this. This is good. 
this and that. You know, just doing that, that free advert for her. And since that day, I noticed that she she turned to another. I don't know, something changed. You know, I started feeling the way normally the more the way she normally loves to because she quickly she would tell me she'll come to my flat. I don't know even the floor she recites up to date, but she live in this comp she live in this building. So, but she always come to my flat. She always come to my flat. You understand me? But one day I noticed that she started behaving somehow. Even despite she's coming to my flat, like he's investigating, like coming around me, like you know. I I asked her, I said, is anything wrong? She said nothing, but also something wrong. That she doesn't want to evolve in anything. I don't want to be involved in anything. I don't want to be involved. I said, what you involved in what? He said, with well, what you said on this media, I said, but before I never approached you that you come to me. But now I said, did anybody call you? Now she said, yes. She showed me some celebrity of my country. I don't know, maybe those people, because they said some of those people, they use fake account. People do use fake, fake, fake accounts in Nigeria. I mean, in everywhere. But I'm not, these people are not fake. She showed me some people who call, who contact her on Messenger quickly. And since the day they contact her, she's involved in some things which is also not good. Yes, since that time, and that is why I'm going to bring out the story, I've said this before. The reason why I'm saying this again. Now, later, I stop this. But I'm telling you how we got to know each other. She lived in this building. Actually, sometimes, because these things, they gave me, they always give me, I mean, it's direct debit. They always give me direct debit. It's always direct debit. Okay? My, this always been a direct debit to my account. If, I have a lot of it in my hand. My fridge, I didn't use it, it's more than two years now. So I now stop it. I say I'm no longer interested because I don't need it. I don't know exactly what is working for. What I just want to patronize her because I do love to put smile on people's face and not to patronize people, encourage people's business, which none of them doing that to us now. So after I, I mean after that, after some time, I think last year, May, yes, exactly last year May, she now approached me again with another thing that she wants me. To, to join, I mean, to come and invest in one business, online business. Is it Bitcoin? I don't know. I said to her, I don't like Bitcoin. And I don't, I don't invest in online business. Anything I cannot do for myself, I don't love to involve in it. I don't see people face to face or I can access them, you know. I say I'm not ready to involve and I don't invest in anything like that. She continued disturbing me, continued disturbing me on that. And I, you know, she continued disturbing me, disturbing me, disturbing me. One day she was talking to me and my daughter said to me, the way she said, we are going to be having money. If you invest money like this, you have money this week, this and that. My daughter said, okay. She also talking to my daughter. We always together. My daughter said, okay. Maybe we, I should try her as you invest there with 300. I gave my daughter 1000 then to keep for the whole time because when they are going to resume, you know, she will pay school fees those days. It's not because of the money now I'm talking, but um, because of the future aspect of it and for security purpose. Because I noticed that a lot of people, because there are a lot of people, bad people, sponsoring those evil people on the social media. Especially my country people, they are involved in these things. They involve, yes, that woman, they involve, they are part of this. And I'm going to mention some people also that my Nigerian people doing blogging, what I notice. So 
And she said, weekly, you're going to be getting whatever you, you deposited. You're going to be, you know. I don't have the idea. I've never done it before. Because I don't like God, you know. It's not, I don't look for things, you know. I don't want to because I, I used to be security conscious. It's not because I don't like money. But I don't want to do anything that cause me trouble. So, my daughter, she have her pocket money. Like, I, I do give her some money anytime I have money to keep for herself. She's going to school, you know, and there's nobody or other people that can give her no benefit from other place. You understand me? So anytime she needs a lot of things, I'll give her the money too. And she's not working to keep for herself. And I say, sometime, I mean, she said to me, she may be out of the 1,000. I gave her 1,000 Canadian dollar then. She said she wants to invest 300. I said, no problem. Make sure you invest the one you are going to use for yourself, like your cream, your, your making your hair. He said, okay, no problem, because they said you could be giving her, she'll be making profit, and she'll get the money back. If she wants to get the money back, 300, I said, okay, no problem. But she invested this money. She has not got it. I mean, after investing, that's what I gave, told her. But when the woman was disturbing me, she wanted to come to my flat, and that day I was resting. I was not happy to, you know, bring in visitor like that. I said, okay. Stay in the corridor, me in the corridor. Then I don't want her to come into the room, yeah, because she have the brain to convince you for many things, you know. I say okay, stay in the corridor, but three hundred. Don't do more than three hundred. Don't invest more than three hundred. But this woman collected the whole money from her. Twist her, change her, so invest all the money. Like even when you invest money, you get it like next week. She didn't get penny. You understand me? So, you know, the other day I was talking, sometimes we forget about it. He said the account was, I mean, those people, there was a problem in America and Canada about those things. You understand me? So I call her. I wanted to call her this time, even before starting this now, but she said she's busy. The last time she said, now, those people, they are ready to refund back everybody who invested in the money. Who invested in the company, in their something i said okay no problem he said my daughter can send email to them she's going to get her money back we send email that's about i think about two two weeks now when we send email to those uh, especially the account they reply we i mean they asked for many things she was giving but the last one that was last friday i think it's last friday or saturday no no last friday or thursday last week they now said to that she should send an ID. You understand me? The last time then it was uh, the driver license she used, but now they say she should send an ID because the driver license is expired now. She need to renew, so they say she should send an ID that is valid. No, they say she should send a permanent resident card of Canada, you know, she should send a permanent resident card and she should take the picture with her face for them to know that she, she's the one speaking to them so that when they refund the money and they do that, but I'm feeling somehow because she do it one second time, third time, and since then, that's his last week, today is Thursday, I was expecting them to reply on Monday, Tuesday. You understand? But they have not. And again, the card got to do with our future. The permanent resident card that they require. And these people, they said they are in America also. You understand me? And I heard the news sometimes ago that these people also, they are under investigation in America by FBI. That's why I involve FBI. Because then my daughter, she's not, she just turned 18. She's now 19, you know. All this and that day, we don't know. I met many of them do say that on media, but we don't go for it, like you know. But this person living in my house, and today I started facing this trouble from this person. I know now she may not give me any other problem again, but I know some people using this lady, okay, for many things, okay. And the other day, also, I accuse her that she turned rich immediately, she started involving with this. 
But since that last week, I believe that it's supposed to have respond. I mean, respond to her. No respond. And since the time they collected the permanent resident card, and the permanent resident card is the one that is giving me, I mean, because they say they need something to know, I mean, for sure that she's the one. You understand me? And when she put on the, send the driver license, they say maybe she need to renew that. It's not valid. And that's what she used. But they now said they need the Canadian, the permanent resident, our permanent resident card. Our uh, permanent resident card is the one that she sent to them. And let me tell you, all the, for the news we've been hearing about this froster, this archives, ah, that's why I'm calling to report that there's no other way I can do this. My platform, I use it to speak for myself and to my, for my daughter. I don't know, maybe in future, because I don't want them to use my permanent, my daughter's permanent resident card. Because a lot of people speaking on this social media. Like one girl speaking now, saying in Nigeria, I'm not jealous of her. One Nigeria is living in London. There was a day before this lady brought this car she's using. She said it, whatever I said on my platform. Because some people are under her, these frosters, they're sending them. You understand me? And we have told that there is some involved in fraud in London. I don't want anybody to tarnish my daughter. They collected all my daughter's ID. And I know those fraudsters and those big co I mean Bitcoin fraud that they are doing, I know a lot of Nigerians are involved. A lot of Nigerians and big people are involved in it. And those even who hate us because when they believe that I speak the truth and I'm against them, and I'm not against them purposely. I'm against that because they stole from me before and they did evil to my daughter, me and my daughter and a lot of their still on my tail because they are planning to bring me and my daughter down. And that is why I'm saying this, that Nigeria government should be aware of this. Canada government should be aware of this. And Canadian American government and FBI should be aware of this. And since the day they got all the data, oh my daughter, you know what they do? They are not speaking again. And I was expecting, okay, you want to verify. They said they need the ID to verify. So one day, two days, you should verify. So that's why I'm calling on American government and FBI, FBI also. I don't know this person more, more than this building. I know that to know this woman. From this building, and even the money I gave to my daughter then was just because I prepared for myself in time of, I mean, maybe it's going to be a, a dry season, that she will need money to pay for her shoe, to get whatever she wants it. Because they are not giving her many things. They're denying my daughter for many things. Even when we are still here, she's supposed to have a, I mean, a child benefit. We, I paid a lot of, I did a lot, a lot of struggle for her to get even, I mean, to get her child benefit. They denied her. They waited. I waited for like three years. So there was no benefit coming from anywhere. Even the one that I collected, you know, you know, I, I complain. I mean, I'm not that I'm complaining. I only putting things here for people to know actually it's exactly what we are doing. I mean, what we are going through. And people are behind it. Some people are fighting secretly behind this. People are fighting secretly. Simply because they believe that maybe I'm not the one who wanted that expose them. And I didn't tell, I didn't tell this woman that I want to involve, invest in Bitcoin. There was a day someone called me and they said I should invest in Bitcoin. Immediately, few minutes, I wanted to pay the money. Somebody called me, my bank called me. That these people, if you want to invest, you should invest in the one in Canada you can see face to face. And this person came to my daughter stopping me that, and that's how I stopped. You understand me? I didn't invest because they said they are going to be taking money from your account. And it happened. When you put money in your credit card, when they, when they took, when you pay for that money, they asked you, now they will use your money, they will be taking money from your account systematically. You will not know. And this is how they will do. They, will, they have been doing it to a lot of people. So they stopped that day, they, my bank rescued me. But this one living in my house. And this, is, the money is is much. One thousand dollars is much money. 
Because even when you go to the shop, you stole. If it's still $50, they're going to call police on you. So I've never steal. It's just my money. And when they collect it like that, is it, there's nothing coming from it. And now they collected my daughter ID. And not this one of these people, or this majority of these, our Nigerians. I'm sorry to say this. Speaking on social media, involving bad things like that. There are many, many of them, first start sponsoring them. A lot of bad people start sponsoring them secretly. Yes. And that's why most of them, they said they don't, nobody going to rescue me, nobody going to support me financially. No, I'm not needing anything from them because I don't want the money that will cause me a problem. And at the same time, they cannot get my money, money from me. And then you systematically collect my daughter's ID to tarnish my daughter because I know they are looking for a way to bring me down. Am I together with my daughter? That's why I'm calling FBI now. They have not returned the money. After telling my daughter, the lady said to me last time, and I was on the live chat, on this live chat, let me print it, let me print it out. I was in the live chat, I probably call her. That's why I want to call her for the first, I want to call her first and tell her this. She said, okay, send email to this, send email to this, send email to this. We busy sending email today and they reply. And they say, send your ID. Send your this, send your that. We don't know. I mean, after sending everything, my daughter sent everything since last Friday. There is no response. And even on Tuesday, I said, okay, send message to them that you are you are expecting them. When is you you should be? When are they going to send back your money? Nobody talking after collecting all the data. And I know Nigeria. Some big people are part of it. The day this lady brought this. This car that is using a lady that is speaking for Mubad, Justin for Mubad on the social media, called Bookie Jesse because her, her son is in prison yard in London. Mention it. Whatever I do in this house, it was being announced on the social media. Those people living in London, America, in, in Dublin. So these people are bad people. They are agents of the fraudsters and terrorists. I'm telling you nothing but the truth. That's why I'm calling America government. Canadian Nigeria should be aware of it. And also, uh, um, Canadian government, FBI. They've done many things to my daughter also before. That they want to set my daughter up to call my daughter name that we are not bearing. And that cannot be. And I will not never take it. After they, they've dealt with me, many ways, they dealt with my daughter many ways. The son from me has not gotten any justice. I'm facing a lot of things here. My daughter has been denied for many things. I know that the people behind this, they are terrorists. And the people we have been saying, maybe whatever blog we have said. And I'm just telling story about my life, what happened to me and my daughter. And the reason why I brought this, just to explain, is I got to know the lady in my building, living in this building. She introduced this to me. I patronized her. I got like four, about two two ninety, from the direct debit before I stopped them because I'm not using it. I have many of it in my in my fridge, even the one I have not opened. She said I should patronize her, but I noticed that they give me direct debit, direct debit, direct debit. And after that, a lot of money, when I pay money to my credit card, when I after paying, I just, the money busy disappearing. Of reason, my daughter just get to know that somebody was removing money. And there's not even money too much in the account. When I just pay, maybe it's little money to account for the account not to run dry. Somebody busy picking $50 from the account. $50 from account. $50 from the account. The same thing they are doing to me. And this woman changed since the day I brought her on my social media to advertise her, a lot of Nigeria, and the face of the people who call her first day was celebrity of Nigeria. But they said many people do use fake, I mean, Facebook, I mean, fake, I mean people's account for their this. But now she said she doesn't want to involve. I say involve in what? 
in my blogging. I said, I'm not calling you for my blogging. You ask me for the assistant. You say I should patronize you. And you say it's good for everywhere. They can also buy in Nigeria. I said, okay, people in Nigeria can also use it. I said, okay, I can bring you to the play Facebook. Let me patronize, I mean, let me advertise for you. And but you have to do that for yourself. I came, she came to me in my flat and I showed her her face. And since that day, the story changed. If I'm not a gentle woman, I'm not enduring, I don't have much endure. If I'm not endure, I will have a physical combat with this person. Because there was a day she was pressing me like this. You got to shake out this, this you know. It's such a disease for me to be big. So far, I'm not a criminal. But I'm not even complaining about that. She, they've been using her. And I know that Nigeria has that involved. They paid her to do that nonsense. Of recent, I challenge her that suddenly you just change your car. You say you have an accident. It's not a, it's, it, I say, he says you're involved in an accident. That's why you change your car. And before she changed the car, a, a lady blogging on social media said that they're going to, you know, for you to know, all these blogger Nigerians, the people, they need to be investigated. So whatever happened to them, they want that evil to happen to me or to happen to them, my child. We don't, I don't still, when you check their history, they've been involved in many fraud. I've never involved in any fraud in my life. I've never, and I will never, I will never. If I don't have money, I rather pray to God and I rather suffer a cry than for me, even say whatever I have, Father, for me to involve in rubbish. And many things, reason why I said this, this, I want to go to my country. I know the country is hard. They will telling me, don't come. The country is hard. Because here, some people are working. The, I think maybe some people have access to the God, to some people, to control some people. And they are disturbing me and disturbing my daughter. They got this, my ID from my daughter. I don't want them to use my daughter's ID in future. These people telling me, telling my daughter to take the ID picture, to take her picture, her face. We don't know them. But this lady in this building, she's the one that introduced my daughter, I mean that introduced her to all those things. And I believe she's living with us here. She cannot do that bullshit. But they do bullshit. Yes, because I believe what she's doing now, what they are doing is bullshit. Like they want to pay that, they make her rich for her to set me. A lot of protocol have been broken since I came to Canada. Things that don't supposed to happen, that's happened in Canada, in Quebec here when I retired. And I'm telling you, I'm saying nothing but the truth. That some people want to support the wicked ones towards me. Want to support the bad one, the criminals so against my me and my daughter. This is my observation. I'm saying this and I do this blogging on behalf of my daughter. A driver license has been taken in the beginning. The traveling, the permanent resident card has been taken. So maybe systematically they want to do something with my permanent, with a permanent resident card. Or to mean it because a lot of things is happening in this system. There was a day I have a meeting and a lot of people are giving story what people are systematically doing to them. This one is not government. Maybe some people who just have power, who just have access to some things. My daughter has been denied for many things. When we came to Canada here, a lot of a lot of family, they have the same paper with me. They got in children child benefit for their child. My daughter wasn't getting penny. So whatever I work, whatever I got, I give my part of it to my daughter. To sustain herself. Even of recent. All the documents I submitted for the child benefit, they said to me the last time, about a year ago, uh, they said when I have my 
permanent resident, everything that we are going to, they are going to pay my daughter for the arrears. That they are going to pay my daughter for the arrears. And I said, okay, no problem. The moment we got the, the card, because we submitted for a long time before it was approved, but thank God we got it later. When I submitted it, they said, okay, we're going to do this. Don't worry, they're going to pay for the arrears. But after some days, after some time, we waited. I submitted 2021. Because we have to be at least working for like a year and six months, a year and 16 months before you can qualify. And I, I've been working throughout the time. They cancel it. Everything. When I submitted it, they say, okay, you only qualify for the arrears because it's now over 18. It's now 18. You're going to pay her for the arrears alone. I said, okay, no problem. I was okay. I said, no problem. But after some time, I just noticed that they cancel it. I called and said, no, we couldn't, yeah, we cannot, you know, you know. I was like, but for three years, I waited for like three years, you know. And every time they would ask me, post this one, fast this one, send this one. By post, I spend money. At the time, we spent $27 to send by Canadian Post. They would ask for some documents. We send it by Canadian Post, $27, at time $25, at time $24, at time $30. Okay. So I paid a lot of money. Are you getting me? I paid a lot of money to send those things. And after everything, they know that we don't, there's nothing can disturb them. Every document. I know some people, and don't forget. Don't forget, there was a time all these Nigeria Yoruba bloggers on the media saying that they have migration working with them in Canada here, and they are not in Canada. They have migration of Canada working with them. That's what they said. They have police, they have baby, but no police. They don't have police, but migration. That's what they said. They said they have police, I mean, migration of Canada working with them. They will be giving information about whatever I do. The information about my resident, where whatever happened to me here, whatever happened to me in this building, since the day, a lot of people have been involved now. But the woman that part beside me, the moment she was, I mean, trying to advertise this to me, then. The using system, you know, sending everybody need to be sent to match me up. But thank God I don't have anybody. The reason why I don't even want people to be coming to my to her to come to my flat again because the other day I said she said she wants to match me. I said, give me your flat number, I'll come and see you too. She said, No, 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 no problem, no problem. I'll come and see you in my house. So since then, me too, I don't want to welcome her into my flat. And when she comes into my flat, she go like this. And I told the other day, I told her that I I'm a business woman, apart from doing this work, I do, when I go to liquidation center also, whatever I'm doing, I show it on the media. I don't hide anything. I don't have any, any eating agenda, and I don't have any eating things. So, all these, I mean, all these people on the media, Nigerians, like the one speaking right now, that live in London, speaking for justice for Mumbai, she's not, I mean, she's not. They are all criminals. Whatever happened to them, they want you to feel the same way. I'm not a criminal, so nobody can direct and shine me to be a criminal. Or I'm, I'm also, my daughter, she cannot, because I, the father is not a criminal, I'm not a criminal. We cannot be a criminal. Some people want to ruin me. To me, I believe injustice is not good for any system. Injustice is not good for any system. I don't want to guess 
But I can, I can, I mean, I can mention names. But I don't want to guess. And that's why I call on Nigeria government, Canadian government, and American FBI. So they are in the best position to know all the investigation because my phone is just as transparent as anything. The Lord revealed it to me. My phone is just like a transparent, like a, a yeah, like a transparent something. The Lord revealed it to me that to tell me that my phone from head to see is being open. But I don't want my phone to be open to the criminals. It can be open to police, to the investigate, those even to the FBI and to the people investigating people, not the criminals that tell people that follow people all around. That could be dangerous for me and my daughter. But to the police, to the government for good, it's not a it's not a problem to me. New era Jordan. Only you need uh, capital to go back to Nigeria, ma. Mm -hmm. Do you know some people, these criminals also, they don't want me to come to Nigeria because they believe that by the time I come to Nigeria, I'm going to expose them face to face is better than 100 data. I'm not even, I don't, if they leave me, I'm not even after, I mean, but I'm a gay, let me tell you. Some people believe that you are going to leave. Even if they give you the permanent residence, they are going to leave by fire, by force. Why? These people, they told you them, thank God, they are... They, by now, they turn a lot of people to criminal in this system. The people, the criminal who are dealing, they, they would deal with me. They turn a lot of people to criminal in this system now. I tell you. That Bitcoin business that that woman in my house involved, America blocked them, stopped them. Canada stopped them in their system. But they, some of them are still, Nigeria also stopped them. But in some Africa, because he was telling my daughter the other day that in some Africa they see herself. But they are fraud. What they are doing is fraud. And people who involve in it, they are riding big cars, they are buying big cars every day, they do many things, and they will tell you you are living a poor life. And you see how God to, to boast on the social media. Okay, and you go, okay, are they she only this is now how to report only this is not how to report a com this is not how to record what a concert and comes comes concert ma you are receipt reading in the vis vis vicinity and developing country write the this is how i report mine and when i do this when i do it this way i got more quick answer writing those ones you don't know the people the letter you are even writing you don't know who is going to double cross it should i tell you something let me tell you a story when we are waiting for the pathway our card selection of quebec then All the document they needed, they were asked me to submit, to submit. I submit everything, and I'm busy following up. The moment I submit, I call them. They say they receive. I'm busy calling. I give them every week. I'll call. If I call this Friday, I'll call another Thursday. I was giving them bomber to bomber, and they you know what they said to me one day. Suddenly, I call on Friday. I call on Wednesday. And on Friday, that day, I received a letter. 
this letter, they, I mean, this thing they normally drop for people to get a letter from post office. I was happy, maybe what I submitted, maybe they have sent it, you know. Suddenly, I went quickly. I was, my hope was, so, uh, they raised my hope seriously. I was so happy. I was expecting, like, I'm going to get a letter that concerning whatever I submitted. Getting there, do you know what they sent to me? Immigration officer sent to me. They sent to me that they have been expecting me to reply to their letter quickly. I mean, since past days, they just mentioned that those days. Now, because we couldn't see, we are sending you now that we rejected you. The immigration, the same immigration that I called, the same immigration office that I called, that they say they are working on it. Another person. Do you know maybe the people that this criminal working with are the one writing those one on behalf of migration just to turn whatever I do down to, for their for them to believe, I mean, for their dream over me to come to pass. Immigration send me a letter. Thank God I do I do put everything on my about myself on the media. Immigration. The letter came from migration saying that they didn't submit anything. And I called two days before the time. That they say they read everything and they, we got everything. Everything going is okay. We are going to get back to you as soon as possible. Another immigration write a letter to me that all the documents they require from me, I couldn't provide them. I'm now being rejected. In the same system. And still people, criminals say they have migrations that they're working with. So, quickly I, I brought the, thank God that day, I placed Max. <laughs> Sorry to say this, I put this in record. Like when I was calling the immigration, I started putting there. They will tell you, they will tell you for security purpose, this call is going to be monitored and be recorded. Me too, I put it recorded for security purpose, I recorded also, I put on my phone. When I was now, I came to show the letter to the old world that this is it. Oh, I called some people, immigration office. They said they receive it and they are working on it. Shortly, we will hear from us. And another person, immigration, now write a letter a day. So, some immigration in this country, they are corrupt. They are, the evil people have attacked them. Other country have also attacked them to destroy them. It's all, all this evil they are doing to me is going to be over, but they are destroying the system systematically. What they are doing to this system, what this system also supporting now, they are supporting crime in the system. By the time they go wire, by the time they are like, enlarge them, huh? and by the time they promote them, huh? you will not find it easy. The government will not find it easy. The country also will not find it easy. You will turn to the country you complain about. What you wait, you become. Because we are saying the truth now, nothing being done about it. Don't forget. I was like, what is happening? They deny me. I mean, they send a letter to me that they have denied me because I didn't send all my documents. And I called two days before the time. They said, yes, we receive all your documents. Everything is in process. Two letters. I have it. I have it here. I never throw it. I have still have the letter. But at the end of the day, after a few, they now send me, they now send me email, congratulations. You are now, you click or click on, you know, your, you know, selection. They now send me my head card. They send me my everything. But before the time, they send a lot of letter that they have not received my application. They have known that didn't submit whatever they asked. And I submitted everything I submitted. And the moment I got it also, you can see since I got the, the, the um, permanent resident, no more work. And a lot of them also be abusing me on social media. The people destroying them, wanted to destroy this system also. They are, they are ironing them. <laughs> if you don't do to me, so if, if I go to my country, nobody can, they believe that they are going to torture me. It's not going to be like that. Nobody can torture me. And people want to torture me because they believe that they can be, I can be tortured here. I can be tortured here in the system. 
So a lot of the criminals, they believe that they can pay them because they know a lot of people. But I'm telling you, you got to be, be careful. They are doing this to me. It's going to over. But they are going to, if they continue like this, the government of Canada, this place, you will not find it easy. Because they will turn everybody to criminal. And you will know that you cannot control criminal. Then you have peace because of your percentage of, you have lesser criminals. Yes. If everybody is 75 or 80% turn to criminal, you will not find it easy again. Yes, that's it. That's what I'm talking you now. This person, this woman, she's from my age, but she's white. Since the day she approached me to patronize her and I patronize her, and I brought her on my Facebook to advertise this, the Nigerian people send message to her. They sent to message to her. And the people, the, the face of people she showed me that day, that time, they were celebrity of Nigeria. And since then, I know she involved in this. If America could stop those big coins, those small, particularly that she's involved, that's fraud. She's involved in fraud, but she's not been done. And some people are still giving her power. And they'll be boasting that. You see, you cannot have favor. You cannot have favor. The wicked people are the ones really suffering the good ones in the society. The money they call favor is the money stolen, the money fraud. For you not comply with them, then they want to make life miserable for them. Because Omokon, Omokuki Jesse was arrested, he was in prison, now they want to set my daughter up. The woman here should be the one they should, I'm just saying it now, that they collected our permanent resident card, so that they will give it to migration. If you travel, and then they will tell us not to come back to Canada. That's what I was thinking they are trying to do. Or they could write a minute to my daughter's Residents and some documents they collected from us. We are not a criminal, but the criminal are the one giving this strength to the criminal like this into the system. FBI, that's why we call America, Canada. And I believe America would never want, I mean, Canada would never want the system to be hijacked by the criminals. If your system is being hijacked, just like Nigeria. The system of Nigeria, Nigeria was being attacked by criminals. That's why you see, they try to do many things, try to put things in order, it refused to come to reality. Because the criminal want to be using, they want to live the way they want. That's where the Canada, if you don't cop them now, you believe you want to deal with me. What have I done wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. I think criminals should be dealt with. Criminals should be maltreated. Even one should be, should be faced off. Not person that I want to live my life in dignity and decency. It's not a criminal offense. That is what I want to say. The money I'm not being refunded. And my daughter being denied for many things. So the people behind it, please, American government, please help me. Canadian government, please help me. Yes, I'm calling Canada and America, Nigeria also. Because I be I, I be I best before coming to Canada in America. And they lie against me. They say many things about me. On this media, I claim myself. So, I recognize America. And then, I love them very much. And Canada is my country as well. Because when you have a permanent rest, just for me to get all my things, you know. People like us, my daughter also, should be many in this system. The people want to live right. The people who have the fear of God. The people who trust in God. The people who want to live right. Look at it. They've afflicted us many ways. Of recent, a lot of disappointment was being sent to me. But I never looked like my disappointment. A lot of disappointments. I never looked like that disappointment. They want me to be coming out. Hey, this and that. This and that. They send a lot of harassments. Also, many... I can't face it all, but every time I'm coming to this media, I say I want to keep it. The only thing I need to do is to praise to God. If they're using people, I believe one day those criminals, the Lord will expose them. That's what I'm praying. That anybody in the system pretending to be a good person that is a criminal, may oh God, Almighty God expose them. That's it. And I pray for myself. If I'm in this system, I'm doing bad thing, I'm hiding him, God expose me. 
I'm not doing any bad thing and I don't have any secret. I don't, I don't pretend. I don't, I don't do things for a bad mission. So that's my experience. My daughter, now the facing of my daughter because some people, they are trying to, they deny my daughter from many things. Like the child benefit, she qualified for it. But they just believe I'm going to be relieved because I say I want to go to my, my country. If I'm living here, if you are, they're sending people to torture me, especially to torture my daughter, why couldn't I be chosen to go to my country? Not that I'm going to abandon this place. I want to have a, I want to have stress free and I want to be my, uh, yeah, at least I can spend five months in my country and come back to Canada. But don't let me just have a break. If I'm living somewhere, I'm complaining every day. So, but I want you to tidy up. I want you to open eyes. I want you to do something. Or else your sister will be attacked by these criminals. And by the time you realize it, they have fin they finish you up. Nigerians try, many governments have tried to fix Nigeria. They frustrated them. Okay? They frustrated them. And I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, I don't want my my daughter pass by my card or those ID. I'm going to I say I'm not going to complain and I'm not going to be exposing myself to them. But about this, I'm going to say it. This business I've stopped in America, stop in Canada. It is a good one. It is not fraud. They won't stop them in Canada. They won't stop them in America. It's because it's a fraud, and this person is involved. And suddenly she became rich. She's riding a picker. She doesn't go to work. She go to train every day. And some of them, those frustrated, they will tell you, go and work, go and work. Whatever you are doing on the social media, they want to frustrate it. Just for you to cut out of this. And they give you many signs. And when I was, when I start talking now, they say, you are paranoid. This one just came, came into this. They say, you are paranoid. You know? And that they use, I mean, a picture of a white person. It's not a white person. The paranoid. I know who used to say that. One of these criminals that blog, or Nigeria bloggers. All these Yoruba bloggers that I mentioned before, for you that I call them terrorists, they're working for terrorists for re. These fraud stars, Bitcoin, stealing from people, frauding people. All those money, when they have the money, they use it to work well against the country. They used to oppress others and they used to also to turn other people to, to evil. You know? You know, can suffer more than you. We have not gotten it to. He said he can call me back at 11 o'clock. Oh, but we buy you so that when you, that's what I want to do. They are trying to get the, all the ID, the part, the, all my documents that they will send it to somebody. Maybe when I travel to Nigeria, they will now who they will say your ID or something have a problem somewhere. We don't have problem. We don't know this. I mean, this person is in this house. Nobody have arrested this person. She's moving. She's going and coming. So I don't know. Anyway, that's my experience, and that's why I call Canadian government, American government, ABI, and my Nigeria, Abu Nigeria government also. So when I say I want to go to my country, yeah, I want to go to my country. I don't want anybody to bully me to death. I don't want anybody to, to destroy me. The same thing they're doing to my daughter. When you are living in a place and they're giving this person food and they deny you, are you, are you going to love them? I'm, I'm not going to hate them, but at the same time, I just excuse people. Maybe when you realize what I'm saying later. But I want you to take note of it <laughs> before they hijack your system. <laughs> if these people are no, they are no, they are they are, they are many your system, then you they finish you up. Everybody is there, you are having peace. Yeah, you know have peace like a other country that don't have peace. Don't allow them to hijack you. That's my a little advice for anybody. When the, the place when criminal these days they'll be clapping for criminals. 
And when you are talking the the way view, the supporting those evil, I know the government are not the. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you know, but you know, the government, you know, government is long. Like a immigration, I speak to an immigration officer. And they said it's going to put everything in record. And another migration write a letter before the time. And he sent it to me. And I was like, who am I speaking with? But there's a system they said, yeah. I speak with somebody two days ago now. Thank God I bought a busy calling. You understand? Oh yes, this is what they do because Somebody, Esa Bod will be telling me on Facebook that we will make sure you are deported in Canada. It's, who is Esa Bod? Esa Bod that have no mouth in Dublin. That they gave you the lances of mad, mad, madness. That he could not contribute anything reasonable to the system of where he decided. Why is he not want to be controlling the system of Canada? I don't understand. That he, where you live, they don't catch him relevant. And some people want to be hyping him. And then they will tell you, we make sure you are deported. And they will be saying that they are working with immigration. How could immigration of Canada be working with these people? We don't know the immigration, no. but any immigration that has been catched for this should be dismissed and be fired and be deported if it's not from Canada. Yeah. If any immigration, because I know that they have a lot of countries that are also immigration in the system. If any immigration be found guilty over this nonsense, if they are not born in Canada, after dismissing them, they should be deported back to the whatever they come from, from their origin. That is it. After the punishment, serving the punishment, they should be deported because such people are not wanted, they are not good in society. When you are working for the government, when you are working for the city and for the country, you have to be loyal and honest for the system, not for the criminals. Anybody working that is working to conjure with the I mean, with the criminal to join together with the criminal to work against people in the system, they are not good for your system. It's not a joke. That is the experience. So, that because I pay a lot of people are happy. She said she's not going to be talking these days. I'm going to talk when you do nonsense, you do nyan, you do nonsense. And this person was telling me, go and borrow money. Go and borrow money to come and invest. She'll be telling you that day when she when I patronize her for, about this, that they give him my account direct debit. I show some shirts that I bought in the liquidation center. Shirts, maybe they are selling it for 100 now, it's now $25, 30 you know, six. And I was showing that. She couldn't even take one. Twenty dollars. She cannot patronize you. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars like this. She cannot patronize you. They debit me four times about this. Two two ninety. Two ninety plus stars and something like three hundred every month. Every month or every two weeks. They pat before I stop them. I change my card before they could. That's why they couldn't get through again. I don't know that day when he was doing it to me. I don't know that she was busy putting me in their red debits. That's a lot of this. A lot of we notice. I notice a lot of fraud. And when you, when you are when they do that nonsense to you, when you try to complain, they say you talk too much. She talk too much. She talk too much. When you want to do bad thing to people, you don't do it to people who speak on the media or who are living a life of righteousness. You don't do that to them. There's no how you're not going to come to public. You cannot be doing bad to me and then you expecting me. I'm not going to expose you on the life. I'm going to expose the person. So, and when, you are, when they are being exposed, they get mad. When people, they bad people being exposed, they get mad. Why? Hey. Hey, wow. mm. yeah, My daughter ID was being, they say you should snap the ID and everything. The driver and says, oh, my daughter ID. So that anytime we travel, they can mean it to us. They can send some migration also to stop us. You understand me? They want to be frustrating us. The immigration, I pray. Yes, I want to pray now. I pray for the land of Quebec, from the land of Canada. Every immigration operating in this system to destroy Canada's system. Such migration. Lord, let all of them be exposed. As from now, so shall it be. Because I'm still clapping for the police. But migration, 
I don't know. All those evil migrations that are working with criminals, working with Nigeria criminals, oh Lord, expose them because some of this migration they are married to Nigeria. They are married to Nigeria, either male or female. Okay? They are married to some Africa also. They are married to some country. They are married to some people that they are criminals. All right? And that's why I love police. So they say if you are related to criminal, you cannot join police. But migration, a lot of them, because there's some common refugee people, they just even some criminal who run away from their country. They are married, Niger they are married migration. So migration need to be careful. Nigeria, I mean, government of Canada need to speak and need to do something more about migration. To God who made me. Am I lying? I check my car before they could stop. Do you want me to bring this thing? I have one that I've not opened. It's in the cupboard. I have about seven of these in the in the fridge. That time I have two like this pack, you know, that red debit low for me. All this, let me tell you, criminals. I'm not calling her, but you got to do not But they will not see a lot of people want to make Let me tell you a lot. Even clicking so some what they call it. Toba click you see. Uh, any information send it to you. Some they can hack your phone. Hack your whatever, hack your accounts. Through that, criminal remain criminal. They have no label. It's the direct debit loan for me. It's direct debit. How will I sign a direct debit for somebody? Something they just say pay. And when you are paying, you don't know that they already they just put direct debit. You know direct debit. I stopped it before and I even look for one customer. I started looking for customers about three to many people. But I quickly I said me, me but me then I was saying oh, you don't don't come to me or you can buy it. They said they also have in Amazon. But she said the Amazon one is not good. That's what she said. Said the Amazon one is not good. That she's come direct. So direct a bit. I don't lie you now. What should I be lying for? What? Don't lie. I'm just telling you nothing but the truth. Where is he? Where is he? What is going on? Mm. Move on emotionally. <laughs> Moto to run ye, but to my bewa. Eh? Out in the hotel, moto. You need a little room, It's because me, I can speak, I'm on the live chat. And I thank God, I bless God for the big, the country that watch and the big people following my page, the important personality, the powerful people, God bless you. That's an advantage, Simone Luria and Willumini. People say, just write a letter. Do you know where the letter is going to? When you write a letter like this, they just throw it up. Some people in... And when you meet the if anybody could be supporting that, they support for the evil tone. She can hear when you meet them. Can we your mouth support the rule book? She can hear you soon. So if you're going to buy lots of money, you're going to buy some people going to show money, collect some money. Because you think you're about to launch your own machine, you're about to do your own thing. All of your boyfriend, your jolly, your jamal launch a fraud. Because the book is just on here. Book you go buy again. What's your money? 
to ti omo yen yen se fraud definitely awon brothers at awon to wole ton wa ba yes ni won ma lo introduce on le si omo yen in to ba ti se do automatic o ma transfer for money So you want to compare your life with me? I'm sorry, I'm not older than thou, but at the same time, I want to live my life. But I want to live my life to please God. And you can also just look for capital and go back to Nigeria. I have a paper. I have my, I have my, I have my everything about my life now. I have my everything. Oh, that's why I'm saying it here now. And they are going to put into trouble. I tell you, I'm boasting of. I know that when I give information about anything. <laughs> It's going to share it. One for mass of one, but it's often people want to share me. But me too, I know that God is doing something. One more, me call a lay. A lay call. Ah, they need that. You see, it is even God is working also. And the people that are also under my platform that are good people that want peace for the people of their surrounding and their country, they will do something about it. Because we always, we always on the truth. On the track of the truth, me. Don't come to Nigeria and they'll be, be here. They'll be touching me. They cannot do that. I get to the minister for all the 20 kilos of people. Masu go go here to the same passport. 22 weeks. Not so come to the passport to the new. What did you pay? I think my passport should be five weeks tomorrow. By five tomorrow should be five weeks. So you could scatter it down. Never say again. Enjoy your own ordinary and give a daddy gamma so one can't forgive me by caraman. To the people more dear more because all the frost stars they are stop, stopping there. Am I the one to separate my daddy? Me is it good to be stealing people's things? So, because of that, because they are stopping you now, now you want to be fighting. You have me pay you me what to be criminal. You say only left in the gym and the brain in cover. You will look on me. FBI is working. You see, everyone, FBI is watching. You will look on me. FBI is watching. Don't do nonsense with my. Allah ma ba phone lo wa wa. Allah ma ba ti wa je. Allah ma ba phone lo wa wa. Ma ba ma ba ma ba page wa lo wa. Ma ba ma ba Facebook kure. Ma ba bogo ere o. Hmm. Ma ba Facebook kure. Allah ma ba yo. Anyway, taba travel gong we are we are here o. If any migration do kini kama beso bi ba ni we are in the airport o. What up o? We don't do any bad thing o. Ozi ye eh. You that you don't work, you go to bed. Alone, but what that is a criminal. Ah, he's a criminal. A criminal, I love face warranty. What is your Otito Gong? What is your Gong, my dear? Money many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord did, will deliver us from it all. So. so if you face any, if you do any bad thing, go and face it. Don't join me with yourself. Don't join me. Don't abuse me to yourself. You think you're only come on me. If you are stealing, go and face your warrant of folly. If you don't have the money to drop, even when you drop the money, they collect the money back, but they still send you to jail. What is my business? I want to pray once again. Nobody, none of you say amen. I pray all the bad migration. <laughs> all the bad migration that wanted to destroy the system of Canada. Oh Lord, expose them. Anybody that is a bad migration, that is working with enemy of this system, oh Lord, expose all of them. Every evil people, but I pray that prayer for my country. I want to be praying for Canada also. If I pray it, <laughs> a lot of people are going to be exposed. So leave me. When you want to deal with people, just leave me out of it. You never respond for what? You never respond for what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Wale Jacob, respond for what? You never respond for King. I don't understand you. Olu Shagun always paranoid. Jacking be face a jad. 
You know it's a criminal offense now to be using people's picture. Multi look picture, multi baby go crew. I want to check your face. What anymore paranoid? What can you look at now? Olu se mo ko Olu degun Oke Olu degun lo ruke alaye baje ruke Olu degun alaye baje ni o Olu degun ti yan je be Olu degun owo pare wo olori bu pe sabo lo ma wa ni Oh, my professor, professor, I will look for you. So, And again, before Kitumalo, like, I was expecting 5,000 Niba taxi. One for me. She had to buy 5,000, no? Eh, my total journey. At least I'm having some whole late three months. I'm having some whole days. I'm having some whole late three months. Whole late, no? I'm having some whole late three months. I'm having some whole late three months. I'm having some whole late three months. I'm having some I want to teach you. I want to teach you. to teach you. I I want to you. I to you. I want to you. I want to <laughs> One day they will say, maybe because of the bad activities. <laughs> ah, hey. Hey. I want, I want you, I want bad people want to run bad markets. <laughs> bad market, what book with bad markets? You would give all bad people. You come to me like if you are doing bad thing, your secret is out. I'm not going to expose you, but the spirit of God in me will expose you. To the public. Oh, the more batash here, Matthew. Yama yama. I'm praying. Anybody, any evil people calling themselves good in our system. Oh, Lord, expose them. 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 Yay. Expose them. Expose them. Every evil operating our system. Oh Lord, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them. Any evil that don't want us to rest. Oh Lord, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them. T T T T. The learning for today is too much. I'm moving on my way. This way. Daddy. 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 
ਦੇ ਕੋਲੇ ਲੈ justice and greek or rain mm. i'm you justice will rain no justice will prevail justice will prevail to ba pa yan won ma pa idan to ba jale ma face warrant ye e ti ye to ba gbo pe afokora bale ninu olorun baba ire ti nbe fun wa o afokon wa bale ire ti ayo nbe be mi ba si wa laye ire ti nbe o eni to ti jale ti di fct i mean en to jale ti e bi ai ti mu o ni ko si re ti fun awon ti e bi ai wa o ni ko si re ti fun e pe ton ba ti mu won bayi ka re won baba je gbogbo english gbogbo ibo gbogbo iwe ton ba ka lo ba pare hm lo ma mu wa don jo ma se nko ti ma fun mi jo ma je sise o lo ma je ko mo mi sise o meke don ti ba fun ni awa laye fun ododo ni you never respond to words i don't know what you are talking about anyway kini national item ye ah no won lo arise to compassion mo i pledge to my name okay ah re yan ko ni ah abudo lo ma practice o gbogbo awon to ba ti fe je anything si won gbudo mo ko senators governors chairman gbogbo won o gbudo mo ko ton ba ti mo ko bayi lo ba tan e je ki a ma lo for today but ki a to ma lo e mo pa won le se ka ma sin olorun ka ma de soro ni pa won olorun ah to ba fi oju to ba gbo kon le yan disease people surprise us so People they surprise me these days so ah hey aye toto to ba gbe ke leyan o te ton i tell you hmm no be smart you Hey, let's go to the book of John. John three, uh, uh, John sixteen thirteen. John three, I mean sorry, John sixteen, verse thirteen. But when he, but when he, the Spirit of Truth, come, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak. On his own, he will speak only when he hear, and he will tell you what is yet to come. Yeah, that's the spirit of truth. That is the spirit of the truth. Hmm? The spirit of the truth. He always tell you things to come. In to ti ti o ti se legan asiri koko John 16 verse 13 but when he the spirits of the truth come he will guide you into all the truth he will not speak on this own he will speak only what he yeah and he will tell you what the year to come yeah bo shege so i pray for the spirit of the truth for our nation for ourselves 
upon my children, upon my well wishers all over the world. The spirit of the truth, the truth we stand. The spirit of the truth is God. And God, in God we stand. In God we trust. The spirit of the truth. The spirit of the truth possess me, possess our land, possess my children. The spirit of the truth possess my home, possess all my people. The spirit of the truth possess our land. The spirit of the truth possess all our leaders. So shall it be. Mind for now. And that is what I want to tell you today. So the woman said they're going to call back 11 o'clock. But it's not yet 11 o'clock now. I just want to give this information. That uh, my data, my daughter's data was being taken. So I don't want anybody to use uh, my data and my daughter's data to against me. I don't want anybody to mean it bad thing on, my, on the system. So my daughter's things, that's a criminal offense. So if anything happened like that, I am going to sue. No, I'm not going to sue them. I'm going to say it here. And it's going to be a problem to such people because I know when I say it on this live, um, live chat like this, they're going to investigate secretly and anybody to but you know it's going to cause pro it's going to cause you problems. So fight for no evil, support no evil, because it can boomerang for you tomorrow. And when it boomerang it will destroy your career if you have any career. That's it. Bye for now. Have a wonderful day. I'll be coming back for the part two of the story of Baba Olukoya that happened yesterday. Yeah, Dr. Olukoya. I'll come back for the part two because I have the the recording of one lawyer like that. I'm going to talk about it, okay? Because I'm just being perplexed and I'm disappointed, seriously. I'm disappointed. Anyway, <clears throat> life is a teacher. The more you live, the more you learn. That's it. And Bible also says you don't trust anybody. Trust nobody. Only God can be trusted and worthy to be trusted.